All right, Shalom. This is our one by Yashaallah of the Lions Den Camp, located right here in Jacksonville, Florida. Before I begin, I want to say Kah Halayim, La Yahawa, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Haraka Kodash Ma'amaf. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and their elders. Shalom to you, Akim and Nakwatim and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. <clears throat> this is gonna be a quick uh, <clears throat> impromptu lesson. Um, kind of like a hydration. I'm going to focus on one precept or one scripture and see where the uh, spirit takes me uh, in a short uh, matter of time. This is Second Ezra chapter 8 and verse 1. And he answered me saying, The Most High have made this world for many, but the world to come for few. All right. So um, with that in mind, <clears throat> we know that this world was made for many. All right, let's get something real quick. All right, so Matthew 7 and 13, it says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. See, it's going to be many people. All right. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way <clears throat> which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. So few of Israel are going to find the way of truth. All right. Even though it's a remnant and 144,000, which is a lot of people. But to the Lord, that's not a lot of people. You know what I mean? Uh, even compared to the souls that um, still have yet to uh, be, be reborn into the earth. Yeah, you know? So you got the elect that are going to come from the heavens. And you got the elect. That are on the earth. <clears throat> but um now let me get something real quick. This is Romans 9 <clears throat> and 9 and 26. And it shall come to pass that in the in the day where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people. So in the place, Salaki, in the place. In the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people. See, this is that place, America. And and America was ruled by what? these uh, nations you know this current world is ruled by these nations all right you got Esau ruling at the top you got these uh, other heathen nations like Moab Ham you know um, um, Ishmael and all these other tribes they're ruling through these corporations here in America as well ruling countries all right and um, now and they push their what? They push their ideologies. They push their religion. And two thirds of our people follow after their ways. All right. So the so the majority of the dead is going to be way more spiritually and physically than the, um, than those that are alive. Twofold, meaning spiritually alive in the truth, and also uh, being written in the book of life to be delivered. It's only going to be a few, a remnant of Israel. Not all Israel is going to be saved this go round. All Israel is going to be saved in the kingdom by being brought back onto this earth through reincarnation, through through repopulation. All right, <clears throat> through marriage or what's called sex. Okay, because in the kingdom, men are going to have multiple wives, but right now, um. You know, multiple wives to bring back those children onto this earth. All right, but right now, this this current world is open wide for what for judgment. All right, Romans nine and um <clears throat> twenty six, and it shall come to pass in the place where it was said unto them, "Ye are not my people," and this is that place. It wasn't in the Roman Empire; they knew. Uh, who the children of Israel were, and they even made war against us. All right, it wasn't about our color yet until the 1400s. All right, so now, um, before then, it was all about our belief and who we were as a nation. Okay, that's why it was a battle called the Jewish Roman Wars. Not the black and white wars, you know what I mean? Or, you know, Esau or whatever. Ye are not my people. 
So this is the place where they called us black. This is the place where they called us all these uh, um, bywords, you know. Um, ye are not my people. There shall they be called the children of the living power, man. So this is the place where the Lord is going to make it known that we are the children of Israel. And who, who his children are, uh, according to the spirit and according to the flesh. All right. <clears throat> Isaiah also cried concerning Israel. Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea. This is the promise. See, wide is the uh, gate that leadeth to destruction, but narrow is the way. And few that be that find it. All right. And um, this world was made for many, but the world to come for few. Okay. So even though Israel is at the sands of the sea, we're all over the earth, scattered. And you can't count the grains of sand, but the Lord can. Let me get that real quick. All right. Um, <clears throat> this is Sirach 1 and, tw 1 and 2. Who can number the sand of the sea and the drops of rain and the days of eternity, man? So just like that, we represent the sands of the sea. So, But either way, imagine having grain, a, a whole beach full of sand. But you know which grains you're going to take up. That's how precise and uh, miraculous Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai is. He knows the number that he's looking for. <clears throat> and the select uh, persons that he's chosen. This is 2 Ezra 2 and 41. The number of thy children whom thou longest for. See, Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai is, is, has us all numbered. And the number that he's looking for is 144,000 and a small multitude of like a grain, a, a, a bunch of sand in your hand, man. Innumerable number. But the Lord knows that number of the elect that are going to be delivered. And we're going to come out of every nation looking like every nation because we were scattered like sand around the earth. All right. Amongst these nations mingled in. <clears throat> the number of thy children whom thou longest for, is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hallowed, may, may, may be separated. All right? So I, Ezra, saw upon Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs, man, and song represent more praise, praising Yahweh Hashem So it's, it's going to be an innumerable number that's going to come from amongst Israel, uh, representing uh, one third. All right, so Romans 9 and 27. Isaiah also cried concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant, only a remnant shall be saved, man. For he will finish his work and cut it short in righteousness, because a short work will the Lord make upon this earth, man. It's going to be quick. A thousand years is a day to the Lord, man. But to us, it seems like a long time, long, long time, even beyond what we can live. You know, now we barely live past 60, 75 at least, sometimes 80. You know, <clears throat> you know, if you want to really scripture say 75. All right. Um, at the max, probably like 100 something. But, uh, you know, so you got to think about that, man, how, how quick reincarnation could be happening now. <clears throat> but it's, it's a thousand years is a day to Yahweh. So now let's get, let's get back to this precept. This is Second Ezra 8 and 1. And he answered me saying, the Most High have made this world, this age, right, for many Many to what? To to come into and, and and exist and thrive and have their have their way, which is in wickedness, and also um ruling. All these nations are in rulership. But the world to come, which is Yahweh Shai's kingdom of righteousness, only a few are gonna sit upon thrones. Twelve thousand from each tribe are gonna sit upon uh the thrones of the twelve tribes of Israel. All right. <clears throat> Only a few are going to be saved, meaning 
a remnant of Israel, not all Israel. Just like during the times of Noah and the flood, the Lord only saved what? Noah and his family. All right, eight souls. Now, just like Lot and his family was delivered from the, uh, the scourge of uh, destruction of fire. <clears throat> so only a few are going to be delivered from this coming destruction now. It says, I will tell thee a similitude, Ezra, as when thou askest the earth, and it shall say unto thee, that it giveth much mold whereof earthen vessels are made, just like the womb, you know, this is where we come from, the earth, the body. But our spirit comes from the Father. The seed is planted, to, planted into the earth, you know, today into the womb of a woman, but originally from the earth. And uh, and that's just it, man. It says, but what? But uh, given much mold where whereof earthen vessels are made. So there's a lot of humans on the earth, a lot of people, <clears throat> a lot of nations, a lot of Israelites scattered. All right. A lot of Jakes, man. But check it out. The Jakes that are just walking around spiritually dead. They basically like basically like extras in the movie. Extras in the matrix in the matrix. This is second Ezra's nine and two twenties, you know, basically missile food, food for the flames. All right. So I considered the world and behold, there was peril because of the devices that were come into it. Right. Because the more people with more ideas ruling in this age are going to have all their ideas, their imaginations, you know, their plans and shit and creations. On the left hand side, wickedness. And I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant uh, and a plant of a great people, man. I'm talking about the elect of Israel. All right, out of all the nations on the earth, the Lord chose Israel. But from amongst Israel, the Lord chose an elect people, man. All right. Let the multitude see multitude, a lot of people, man. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. So they're on this earth and they're not in this truth. They were just born in vain, man. And let my grape be kept in my plant. For with great labor have I made it perfect, man. I'm talking about the Lord's vineyard. All right. Excuse me. So um, so with, with great labor have the Lord kept and built up his elect, man. Okay, so the rest were what? Born in vain. <clears throat> and that's between them and their creator, these heathens and two thirds of our people that remain in the congregation of the dead, just born in vain, man. Just like the animals on the earth. They just operate in a system like the matrix, you know, and they can't break out of that program of being worldly. Being carnal, chasing after their senses, bringing in their own ideas or, um, that they can imagine, just like Nimrod tried to do. All right, just like Esau has done, and and they've given freedom to to Jake and the society to to uh, conjure up any imaginations you can, especially with the internet, especially with business, the, the entertainment industry. They can be whatever the hell they want. You know, <clears throat> an imagination. All right, so when it says this, I will tell thee a similitude, Ezra, as when thou askest the earth, it shall say unto thee that it giveth much mold whereof earthen vessels are made. See, bodily vessels which were born in vain. But little dust that gold cometh of, man. But it's only rarity there's a lot of gold dust out in heaven think about that that's spiritual as well there's a lot more gold dust out in space than there is on the earth just like there's a lot more souls out in space out in the uh, spirit world than there is upon the earth even though the, the earth is populated with a lot of people right now that um you know the most high hey let me get that right because um 
there's more souls out in the heavens that are waiting to be created in this earth than there is already people created in the earth. And this is the proof right here. So just like there's more gold out in space, there's only little gold upon the earth amongst the the uh, the living. Second Ezra 5 and 43. So I answered and said, Couldest thou not make those that have been made and be now and that are for to come? Could you not make them at once? All right. So the, Ezra was asking the Lord uh, through the angel uh, Uriel, or War Allah, that's his name. Um, Ezra was asking him, uh, couldn't you make everybody at once instead of um, like us dying off and then, you know, coming back onto the earth? And um, and that's going to happen in the kingdom to where we're going to all be born or the children are going to be born over time. And then uh, they're never going to die again. So we'll all be on the earth. Our, you know, our aunts, great, great, grand or great grandparents, grand, you know. Um, all the disciples of the Bible, all the the heroes and important, famous people of the scriptures, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, be all on the earth at once. You know, um, so now Second Ezra five and forty three. So I answered and said, Couldest thou not make those that have been made? And be now and that are for to come at once that thou mightest show thy judgment the sooner. Then answered he me and said, the creature may not haste above the creator, meaning the creature is not going to be born. And more in multitude. Which would um, go against the prophecies because the prophecies go over time. But he was saying, can't you just make the judgment now and just select who you want and just end it? The Lord can do that, but he, he chose everything in what? Let me get that real quick. Found it. There you go. Second as is four and... Um, It says, let's start, let's start from 36. And unto these things, Uriel, the angel, or war Allah, or war Allah, all right, um, light of God. It says, uh, the archangel gave them answer and said, even when the number of the seeds is filled in you, for he have weighed the world in the balance. See, his own balance, it, you know, with measurement. With time, with, with multitude, by measure have he measured the times, the ages, and, and you know even according to the prophecies, and by and by number have he numbered the times, and he have us filtered, being born in different ages upon this earth, to receive the judgments and the, or the reward. And he ha and he doeth not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled, man. All right, so he's not worrying about, um, yeah, I'm going to just build everybody on the earth and then select who I want and then put them in rulership. No, the Lord is creating a backstory. He's creating, um, setting precedent, <laughs> you know, allowing us to know who he, uh, allowing us to know part of who he is in the spirit as the father, you know, as our heavenly father. Second Ezra 5 and uh, 43, I want to make this quick. So I answered and said, Couldest thou not make those that have been made and be now and that are to come at once, that thou mightest show thy judgment the sooner? Then answered he me and said, The creature may not haste above the creator. A thousand years is a day to the Lord. All right. So we got we, we, we got to wait according to his time. And he got it in his mind when he wants to pull the plug on uh, this root, this current wicked world. Neither may the world hold them at once that shall be created therein. See, it's still people that um, are going to be created in the world, especially in um, Yahweh's kingdom. 
And that's why we're going to have to what? We're going to have to populate other planets. Because it's not going to be enough to hold us all on this earth. And that's why the Lord is going to what? Remove Esau off the earth. <laughs> you know, to make more room for Israelites on the earth. And what that, uh, you know, the wicked shall be a ransom for the righteous, man. So, especially in the judgment. Then answered he me and said, The creature may not haste above the maker, neither may the world hold them at once that shall be created. I Meaning there's still souls that are about to be reincarnated into this earth. And I said, As thou hast said unto thy servant, that thou which givest life to all, haste or has given life at once to the creature that thou has created, and the creature bear it. Even so, it might now also bear them that now be present at once. All right. And he said unto me, Ask the womb of a woman, and say unto her, If thou bringest forth children, why doest thou not together, but one after the other? Pray her therefore to bring forth ten children at once. And I said, she cannot, but must do it by distance of time. All right. So that's the, what the Lord measured everything according to the time and bringing in the, um, certain people into this world, into this matrix. Um, not all at once, but over distance, over time, you know, as parts of, of the story. So um, we'll get back to the point. So second Ezra 8 and 2. And I will tell thee a similitude. See, a similitude. All right. And what's a similitude? A similitude is the quality or state of being similar to something. A resemblance. A, basically a vision. All right. The sameness or a parable. Or, or, or what they would call an, an analogy. All right. A simile. This is Second Ezra 8 and 2. And I will tell thee a similitude, Ezra, as when thou askest ask the earth, it shall say unto thee that it giveth much mold whereof earthen vessels are made. All right. So a lot of people are made upon this earth. But little dust that the gold come above, man. But little, little of the elect upon this earth. All right. And the, the gold represents your soul. All right. So the Lord knows the number of souls that he's chosen from amongst the grains of sand. Even though there's many people created on this earth and many more people out in the heavens. Many more souls out in the heavens. But check this out. This is Sirach 16 and uh, 17. No, 16. His mercy is manifest to every creature, and he hath separated his light from the darkness with an adamant. Say not thou, I will hide myself from the Lord. Shall any remember me from above? I shall not be remembered among so many people. For what is my soul among such an infinite number of creatures? All right. So the Lord said you, you, you're important once he, you know, a multitude of people and then he calls your name. Now you're that important. Put it like that. You know, the creator called you. So that, that that's some value in that. Ultimate value. All right. Um, and, and, and the work that he's putting in with us or on us to create us into that gold that that. um peculiar treasure all right uh behold the heaven and the heaven of heavens the deep and the earth and all that therein is shall be moved when he shall visit all right so now um so what is your soul amongst such an infinite number of, cre of creatures man creations well the lord said you're like gold he's comparing you to gold man gold that's tried in the fire all right, um, purified, and with great labor, hath the Lord brought us about, man, and bringing us to a completion. Second Ezra, um, eight and two again. 
I will tell thee a similitude, Ezra, as when thou askest the earth, it shall say unto thee that it giveth much mold thereof, whereof earthen vessels are made. See, the Lord can bring as many people as he want to the earth, you know, but he's not going to do it all at once. All right. But the little dust that the gold cometh of, man. So, you know, we're born in the dust, but little where the elect are born into this earth. Even so is the course of this present world. There be many created, but few shall be saved, man. And that's the understanding of um, the Lord choosing an elect. And people are like, why are you over me? It ain't about that. It's about what, what the Most High chose. What he created from the beginning is going to be what it will be in the end. 